Hey YouTube friends, SurvivalCraft here. Recently one of my subscribers asked me to show the contents of my Right in the Rain field binder. So I thought I'd go ahead, go through, and show you some of the major sections I have, some of the things I do, and maybe it will help you kind of get a basic idea of what you could do for your field journal or survival journal. So the first page I have here is my shelter section. This begins it, I put shelter up at the top, and then each page that has to do with shelter, I also put that at the top as well. So that's a really easy way to make sure I, I know where a, a section begins and how far a section goes. My shelter section goes on for quite a ways. I think I have seven, eight pages worth of shelter. And then I get to fire. Fire is my next section. I then have uh, some basic pages on, um, on what to use to make fire, how to make a fire, tips and tricks about keeping a fire going, things like that. After fire, I have a section on food, and this is anything from recipes to what type of food you need to bring with you on uh, a camping trip or hiking trip, uh, what type of food to stock up uh, for any type of emergency situation, how to cook food, things like that, even how to catch food. So anything that is food related, I put into this section. Also in my section on food, I do things like traps, uh, fishing, uh, things like that. Again, a, any way to procure food, I also have a section here. With food, I also have uh, any of my wild edibles. Uh, those are drawn here, and I give a little bit of note about uh, their nutritional value, plus because of some overlap, I also put some medical uh, notes in this section. After my food section, I have my water section, and this is where I talk about how to purify water, how to gather water, filter water, things like that. I also put notes about how much water I need on certain trips, and I keep a record of exactly how to use uh, certain types of uh, purification methods in case I forget. So, for instance, how many drops of iodine to add to a liter, how many drops of uh, bleach to add to a liter, those things that I could easily forget. Next, I have a section on tools, kit, and pack. And this is where I record uh, for instance, what I would keep in a pack, exactly how to uh, stuff my backpack, uh, just basic notes on kit. I also have some notes here on how to make uh, certain elements of kit in an emergency situation. So for instance, I have a note here on how to make uh, sandals, how to make shoes. Uh, I also have notes on how to repair axes, how to use an axe to cut down a tree, how to make uh, weapons, things of that nature. After my section on kit, I have a section on cordage and knots. And this is where I draw out all the major knots that I would use. So if I can't remember how to, uh, to tie something, I can just look it up really quickly and remember exactly how to tie a knot, how to make cordage, uh, interesting things to do with cordage, things of that nature. Then I get to my section on navigation, and this gives me uh, some basic things about how to mark maps, how to move using a compass, things of that nature. Now, there is a note here that I, I want to make. I've noticed that with this right in the rain paper, over time, uh, certain colors of Sharpie seem to do different things. For instance, the red Sharpie tends to kind of start to fade and to bleed into the paper. So I've stopped using red Sharpie. Also, I have found that certain colors have begun to bleed through yellow on the reverse side of the page. And these colors are kind of the peach tones, the grays, 
and the oranges. They tend to bleed through. So for instance, I have this on one side, but on the other side, it's stained a yellowish color. And so I've stopped using those colors as well. In fact, for my future notes, I'm just doing black and white. After my section on navigation, I have a section on signaling. This is a, a fairly small uh, portion. This is where I have, uh, for instance, notes on signal signs, uh, notes on how to signal aircraft, signal people across ravines, and also how to make things like smoke bombs and uh, the like. Second to last, I have a section on medical. This is something I'm, I'm currently working on now. I'm reading through a bunch of different books on uh, outdoor medicine. And so this is kind of a work in process, but uh, I have notes on, uh, for instance, how to remove a ring, how to drain a blister, how to deal with athlete's foot. So uh, this is a large section, not only on outdoor medicine, but also a little bit on like trauma, for instance, how to treat a gunshot wound, uh, things like that. At the end of my medical section, I have some basic hand-drawn anatomy charts. Right now I'm trying to memorize the muscles and the bones, uh, which has been a really difficult, annoying process, but uh, it helps drawing these things out because if you take your time, you get all your senses into memorizing it by drawing it, writing it, reading it, saying it, then it helps you to memorize it. So uh, this is uh, at the end of my medical section and I'm going to slowly but surely uh, draw more and more anatomy charts just for my, my own uh, memorization. And then finally, right here at the end, I have a brief section on hygiene and cleaning, which I, I might add to the medical section, I don't really know. Uh, the reason why I have this is because I, I want to have a section on, for instance, how to clean clothes in an emergency situation, how to clean myself, how to clean my home. Uh, interesting recipes for uh, different types of disinfectants and cleaners, stuff like that. It's, it's a good thing to know. It's a good thing to have. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a section like this, but I, I find it kind of useful. So I'd have that right at the end. Now, some stuff that I'm not going to show on camera would be things like I have a list of all my firearms and their... Uh, their serial numbers so that I have that at the ready. I also have a bunch of my personal information, medical history, things like that. Also the same for my family. So all that's in here, plus I have some pictures of myself, I have birth certificate information, blah, blah, blah. This is a place where I can keep it all together, and so if there was ever a fire, flood, a uh, tornado, something like that, I want to keep this protected. All I have to do is I grab it and I can go. So all my major information, not only that I've learned, but information about me is in this kit. So if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, gripes, complaints, please put them in the comment section below. Also, because this is definitely a work in process, if you have any ideas for things I could add to this, I'd love to hear about them because I'm trying to evolve. So uh, if you have any suggestions, also put them in the comment section below, or you can contact me uh, at survivalcraft at gmail.com. As always, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.